Hello and welcome on. Here we are back for some more standard. It's Wednesday. Today we're going to try out a sweet four color oven deck. Now this deck was uh, I saw from Jeff Hoogland. This is, I believe, his exact 75. The sideboard might be a little different. I don't remember. It's a while ago since I brought the deck list onto Arena and I've played it quite a bit since then. So the general idea is you have a couple different packages. So we have the food package, the blue green food package, which is, of course, Oko, Wicked Wolf. Gilded Goose. We're also playing that with the um, Cauldron Familiar, which is Oven Mayhem Devil package, which is also um, accentuated with the Corvold Fey Cursed King, which is pretty sweet. Um, I learned my lesson. You guys do not want brawl content, so there will be no more brawl content on the channel. Um, to be fair, brawl wasn't that entertaining, energy enjoyable, to be honest. Um, so. Meh. Uh, I was hoping it'd be more fun, but it wasn't. So yeah. Uh yeah. All right. A uh, bunch of lands, some Vraskas, some Grasps, and of course, once upon a time, Veil of Summers negates Noxious Grasp, Ingrass Rampage, Flame Sweeps, and Wicked Wolves are in a sideboard. We're gonna play out some matches here, see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, round one. Here we are on the play. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. It's got turn one, turn two, and turn three. I'm gonna mulligan, we can do better. Alright, I mean. I don't think this is a significant amount better, but I think it's fine. In fact, the other hand might have actually been better. Yep, goose. Hmm. Waiting to grasp the Oko. We could have grasped the goose, but I'd rather just get the Oko itself. Now I try to grasp this end of turn, I guess, but meh. All right, their blue green ramp, I'm assuming. Yep, sacking this in response. Nice. That's going to be annoying. Yeah. I'm going to shoot them. doesn't matter shooting this. It becomes indestructible. Yeah, I know, my little fox. You're, you're not very happy with that either. But we're gonna kill this before they get a chance to make some more food. Wait, what? That's not what I clicked on. No, that's not what I clicked on. Oh my god. That's so annoying. Yeah. That's so annoying. Alright. Let's try like this, I guess. I guess wolves are good. I should have tried to make room for them, I guess. Yeah, I guess wolves is something we should bring in here. That's alright. Don't have a whole lot of room to cut a bunch of stuff, so...
Yeah, in decks like this where we have a lot of pieces, I don't like cutting them. Just doesn't feel very good. Um. Yeah, I, I swear I clicked on the the wolf, not the goose. So like I said, if we kill the wolf and they have just goose, they go into Vraska. We can grasp for the Vraska. And then, like, we're in pretty good shape. Alright, I'm going to keep this one. Yep. Two Noxious Grasp and an Oko is very nice. We're going to Forest. Hmm. They will follow suit and also fetch a Fable Passage on turn one. The thing I like about this is a lot of times failed passage is nothing more than a uh, Ooh, we're on the one lander, eh? Alright, we got our engine online now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, let's do this. If they're missing land drops, I want to just keep them off of lands. That's the game plan. Oh, there's a second land, which is fine. Eat. I love it that with this combo we're doing two damage every turn cycle. Alright, let's do this. Boom. Do this now. Bring it back. Make it into a 3-3. Three, three. Let's plus and get rid of this forest. Alright, drew another line. That's nice. Let's see what they play. Very possibly could have a grasp of their own here. Yep, they do. Down goes Oko. I'm going to fetch this now. Uh, we have another one in hand, so... Yep, grab another forest. Nice. Not really nice, to be honest. I think I do want a sack of blood crypt, though. Well, when you're putting it like this, this is not exactly how I want it to go. We had them stumbled, and now we're just not doing anything either. Alright, I don't want to waste my Noxious Grasp. Ugh. Oh, that makes me feel a little bit better about this. I'm going to play this Fabled Passage. Go to Attacks. Let's 
sack off the breeding pool. Oh, that oven's pretty nice here. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have tapped this, right? Yeah, I should have tapped the stomp. Make sure the tamper. Make sure the stomping ground got tapped. Yeah. Resolves. Fetch. Sorry, blue mana. Attacking there, eh? All right, this might be too aggressive, but we're going to do it anyway. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I still have two mana here, so I can still cast stuff. All right, deck, show me some love. Stomping around. Jesus H. Christ, that's annoying. Sure. Oh, I'm dumb. I should have witched oven to one, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, I think we played this game horribly. I think we just fell behind and we should have been ahead. Then again, we've drawn what we've cracked one, two, three, four lands. And replaced every single one of them with a land. So, I mean... I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take it. Um, trim a Devil. Maybe... Carvold? He's not great against... Opposing Okos. On one hand, if Oko gets banned on the 18th, it'll be nice to have four extra Mythic Wild Cards. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, it'll suck. You know, potato, potato. Potato, potato. Although, I think in that scenario, I'd prefer it if they still had, like, best of one. They would disband it in best of one instead of best of three, but hmm. uh, yeah, we 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 did not play this matchup great so far, but that's all right. Game three is where we're gonna straighten things out, and we're gonna play correctly. Right, 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 right. Let's do it. Um, 
I mean, it's not great, but I think it's fine. Goosey Goose. <sighs> yeah, let's just... I want to... So I kind of want to just Fable Passage on one, but let's... Let's actually get things started here. Here comes Oko. Yep, we're going to grasp Oko. They're going to make a food, which is obvious. Alright, well... We have three more Okos to deal with. Hmm. Raska here would actually be pretty annoying too. Alright, the wolf sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Hmm. I don't know if the hand feels like it is. We're going to have a forest tapped and pass the turn, holding up the gate. Hmm. Yeah, here they stuck on land and just try to play another Oko. Or I hope now they just try to play like a Verasco and we negate it. Uh huh. Yep. Interesting. You know what? Let's try an Elko. Alright, making a food. That means they're gonna have a grasp, if anything. Let's just 3-3 three, three the wolf. They're going to grasp in response. Yep. I get into 4-4 four, four is fine because at the end of the day, they still, it's not indestructible anymore. Um, also, we're not going to crack this Fable Passage because we have this Mayhem Devil. Ugh. Yeah, this negate's looking real bad here. Yeah, we've been playing behind since turn one. And that's just, like, really not good for us. I want to feel a passage, honestly, be kind of nice. I mean, Breeding Pool will do. Except that it kind of actually won't. Yeah, we can't actually cast Mayhem Devil unless we crack the Fabled Passage first. Alright, let's kill the Goose. Uh next we can go Corvold, but I don't even know what that does. Hmm. Sacrificing a swamp. Yep. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Hmm. 
Let's make that trade, I guess. We're not making food anytime soon. As I say, as we draw a food token. Or as we draw, I, I say as we draw a way to make food. Um, gosh, this is annoying. Um, that wasn't the one I meant to play. Alright, it's fine. It's fine, we have the gate up, it's fine. It's fine. Yep, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. Get negated, Oko. This fox needs to calm down. We're still getting our ass kicked here. Although I would like to know that this technically will come down as a 5-5 five five because we have a sack of permanent right when it comes into play. Yeah, we go to 6 here. They have another grasp. We're in trouble. Alright, I like that. This is going to get us out of that grasp getting us locked out situation. Because now we're going to kill this. Yep, Grasp of Darkness, knew that. Alright, I'm real glad we just didn't play Corvald now. They do still have this on 5, but... I feel like our two cards are pretty strong, so they can compete with their 4, possibly. Obviously, we don't know what they have, so it's possible they can't, but... I feel like these are the best cards, two of the best cards in our deck. Okay. That feels like oh yes. All right, let's let's lead on Corvold. Do they have a stroke. Oh my God, they have a disdainful stroke. Oh, this is that's that's pretty bad for us. All right, well, Blind Wolf isn't that scary. I mean, the fact that we're going to four kind of is, because they have a Goose, we're dead next turn. I guess that's technically scary. Hmm. Interesting choice in land to destroy there. All right, yeah, we're fucking dead next turn. Cool. All right, go to four. Well, maybe we're not. Alright, play Oko. Make a food. Grasp her. Alright, this is the part where we're going to have to start trying to recover here. Kitty Cat puts me to six, so it's going to put me out of danger without them sacking to the uh, wolf. And if the cat can block, which three, four, five, actually, because they can make this. Okay, they didn't even do it. All right, cool. I was like, they can make this a five. Oh, God, that's so bad for us. Ah, <sighs> so bad for us. Huh. Yeah, I... I think we are so far out of this game now that it's just... We're just playing at this point through the motions. 
I think the moment we really got just we were done is the moment Corval got disdainful stroked. Because that was when we had our opening. We had an opening to try and get back into this game. And we just lost it. Like, we're not able to get any of our engines online. Yeah. This is, a, like, a really good example of, like, where these, like, decks really fall behind at. I'm not going to block. I'm going to take it. Go to one. And die. All right. We'll be back in this minute for round number two. All right. We're back. We have an interesting hand here. Hopefully this one spawn time will help us find a threat. We have the potential for turn one Oko. Not turn one Oko. Turn two Oko. I like it. I think the hand's fine. We're going to roll with it. Ooh, our opponent goes to five. And once upon a time could help them mess that mulligan. Mountain. Okay, so are they a aristocrats deck too? Think they might be. I want me as a wolf. Yep, let's do it. I hate these decks like this. Well, we would have had the... We'd have had the turn to Oko. Which generally is very good. So our opponent can't attack him without drawing. It's pretty good. Alright. I think it's good enough I'm gonna three three it. Now it might seem crazy, but the fact that it's gonna give them a constant supply of cards every single turn I think is good enough for us to want to kill it. Sure. They're spending their turn cast turn casting once upon a time, that's a pretty good place for us, I feel like. Right, they drew a priest of the forgotten gods. You can have your attack with your 3 3. Don't mind it. I'll bring it back. All right. And we're going. Mega food. Vraska. Kill you. And start getting in there. We saw this wolf for this god. We also have this wolf for this giant. Another familiar. All right. All right. Sack the food, draw a card. Nice. Let's actually go Goosey, Druid. Turn the cat into a 3-3. Three, three. Play this. Attack for three. No chump block. That's not surprising. Alright, we're going to pass and once upon a time at the end of their turn. So, the familiar becoming a 3-3, three, three, it's not affected at all while it's on board. Um, obviously, its ability is already resolved by the time you get a chance to turn it into a food token. Or not a food token, by the time you get a chance to turn it into an elk. Sure. 
I'm gonna grab another cat, I guess. Jesus criminy deck. No. Yep, you can shoot me for one. Yep. Make food. Let's sacrifice that food. That's a good one. I like that one a lot. Familiar number one. Familiar number two. Oh, well, whoops. I didn't mean to attack with the goose. They can try with the druid here, too. We're also okay with that. Strong fill, and they're done. They're dead next turn. Very strong feeling. I mean, they play out both these cards, and I guess they're not technically dead. But it's not looking great for them. Sure, no blocks. Yep. I was going to say, now we just take down Killis and swing for lethal. Alright, so... The Aristocrats deck. Flame Sweep to some extent is good against them. Definitely want Wolves. Actually, let's do this. Kind of like this, I guess. Any Mayhem Devil is what we do want. Let's try that. Not a huge fan of Once Upon a Time as a 4 of. It seems like a lot. And that's it. A lot of times when you're just playing it for 2, it's like... Yeah, searching up... Like getting to look at your top five for a powerful card is nice, but at the same time, it's like I don't think that's necessarily like really worth it. We'll keep this hand. Uh, it's got a chance for a turn three Oko again. Familiar is nice from them. Oh, we should have played the whatever. We would have liked to have not drawn a land there, to be honest. What? Let's let's auto pay for this. Hmm. All right, which is oven? Okay. They can block and sack it. They're still going to take, take damage from it. I mean... Let's pass the turn and see what we do need to do. Hmm. 
We're looking for something like Corvold right now. Yep. Now you will drain, gain one life. Kitty of our own. Let's take the old passage, I guess. Okay. Let's fetch target there. Yep. Shoot you. Yep. Yep, shoot you again for one. Now next time we're gonna make a food. Okay, opponent doesn't want to keep playing this game because they're not drawn lands. Yeah, I mean, it was only a matter of time before we killed them at that rate. So, all right, we'll be back in just a minute for the next round. All right, we're on the play. This is a great hand. We're going to keep it. Uh, we can't play the familiar on one, but that's okay. We can on three. Um, yeah, I'm just going to draw it here. It's more mana efficient this way. All right, they're just guys, so they're probably just guy fires, which means that I do not want to play this goose to the table. Okay, that tells me they probably don't have a what you call it next turn. Uh. Whatever it's called. Huh. Color me intrigued. Hmm. Okay. All right, kitty cat. Let's play out the goose. This feels like one of those situations where we like, okay, so I see what they're doing. Okay, I get you, opponent. Now they're going to play this, probably. So this is going to mean they're going to have six power a turn. All right. Yep. Yep. Make us some food, draw a card. Ugh, that's bad. That's really bad. Hmm. 
Although this board state, we can block this thing forever. The seven mana this turn. Yeah, this ain't looking good for us here, to be honest. Yep. All right. So they're very unlikely to attack. What we really need is to draw a uh, Mayhem Devil. And then, with a Mayhem Devil, we have a chance to start doing some stuff here. I'm not going to lie, I was really hoping opponent was going to decide to attack. I want to sack the non nice one. Whatever. That's a pretty good one. Not gonna lie. So I got one sacrifice. Both sack there. Block one. Mm hmm. Okay. Makes this choice easier. Actually, I'm dumb. This can kill him. And then... to finish her off. Yeah, we should have tried to go after him. That would have been the better choice there. Because now that we realize we could have actually killed him, we had enough to sack six. <laughs> now you can down tick kill our Mayhem Devil. No. Huh. Okay. Alright. Well, they could time wipe here, I guess. Do a five mana. You know what? Let's cancel. Nothing we can really do about that. Please attack. Please attack. Damn. That sucks. Yeah, that really sucks. Getting real close to alting this thing, too. Jeez, they have a handful of cards. Eight, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, man. These are some ugly-looking giants, man. Some really ugly-looking giants.
It's really like the top card of your deck is like off. Oh, I it's like that on both decks. Okay, never mind. I thought it was just these sleeves. You're probably like, what are you talking about? But I was talking about the sleeves just like slightly to the side. Sure. Opt. Opt away, opponent. Opt away. What do you got? Sure. Ah, uh, the so I was wondering what the difference between shimmering possibility and this is. And the difference is Shimmering Possibility is only four cards deep. Huh. It's rude as hell, opponent. It's incredibly rude. Yeah, so we can kill green or white, but we can't kill blue or red, so... Uh, please just kill me quickly here, opponent. I just, I don't want to sit here and dilly-dally. I'm going to grasp her. This is two things. Number one, gets rid of the target for stomp. Number two, gains me one life. I wonder why they're playing Tails in. That's such a weird card to play. Yep. Yep. We're incredibly dead here. We're we're just like incredibly dead. Go to seven. I don't even know what we could draw here that would actually like do anything. That ain't gonna do it. Let's just move on. Actually, only go to five. So I got a six and a five. Taking like three damage every turn cycle, so we need two more turns. We'll definitely be dead by then. Yeah, I think that's game. Let's just move on to the next game here. Yeah. This race is already not very winnable, but with that being the case, definitely not winnable. Veil of Summer seems possibly like something we want, so does Negates. Uh, let's cut some of these. Trim on these. Uh, Wicked Wolf doesn't seem great either here. Oh, I'm dumb. Bring the wolf back. Get rid of the grasps. 
Let's go back up. There's only two wolves. Um, third once upon a time. Yeah, I forgot. Grasp, grasp, grasp doesn't seem very good there. <sighs> yeah, grasp does not seem good there. I like this deck a lot. It's a lot of fun. I think it's a really cool deck. It's very unique at the way it attacks things. Um, I would highly recommend giving it a try. If you haven't before. Super sweet. A lot of fun, like I said. Um, Corvold, like, surprisingly, like, really powerful. The fact that whenever you sack something, he draws a card is really cool and gets bigger. And that also means, like, in the face of Oko, like, get him around, you're not good. But you have a, a potential to trigger him two or three times before our opponent gets to, like, kill it. So, I don't know. To me, that's pretty sweet. To me, he's definitely worth, like, the risk you take playing him. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I do want to say, like, the Sultai food deck's a little bit better. But... I think the four color food deck is definitely a lot of fun and worth exploring. All right. There we go. Game number three. We're on the play. Sorry, game number two. All right. We're going to give this hand a try. Uh, we're going to once upon time first, then play Goose. Looking to get things going here. I'm actually going to take a second Mayhem Devil. Oh, that's not the one. Yep. Goosey Goose. Mean Goosen. Yep. Only thing I'm going to play it. Oh, the third one, eh? I. I'm a fan. All right, they stomp the goose. Which, in my opinion, is perfectly fine. All right, let's bash. I'd love to draw the appropriate colored land next turn so we can play one of these. All right, it's Fairy Bouncing Mayhem Devil is cool. Yep. Nice. Yep. All right. That's annoying, but like, what can you do, right? Maybe we shouldn't have done that because we could bring back the cat. Yeah, whatever. Make some food. Uh-huh. Hmm. See what our opponent's got here. Alright, Ral's Eric. Ral's fine. I think this is better. We're going to miss a damage out with a Mayhem Devil, but I think... Man, that's a good one. Elk the Cat. Row the Three. Hmm. 
Hmm. I could have another Clary on here to be annoying. All right, just hard cast Bone Crusher. Mm -hmm. Scry. Fable Passage deck one time. Well. Oh. Something tells me that's about as close. Hold on. Yeah, let's do this. They have a tail's end. Uh, yep. Yep. Come on, Funny. Choose what you're doing. Let's make some choices here. Alright. We're not gonna we're not gonna put it back in the play yet. Hmm. Yeah. This Ral's been really good. Hmm. Cure's good, but she's not like she's not as busted in this situation as she is with the uh, hexproof land. Of course, if they go that now, we might be in a little bit of trouble because it'd be three, four, five, six mana again. Holy shit! That's annoying. So exact these two, one, two, three, four, or that, whatever. Oh shit. I didn't even I forgot about that detail. Let's hope their hand ain't anything good here. Alright, anticipate. We're actually gonna kill Ral. Yeah. Yep, Kitty into a 3-3. Three, three. Kitty attacks. Play, Devil, pass. Their opponent just has infinite mana here. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. Thank you, 3 3. Another Tail's End. Fucking crap, man. All right, I'm done. All right, well, they got us with the tail's end. It happens. All right, so overall thoughts on four color oven. So the familiar and oven, which is oven combo is pretty sweet. The, of course, the food package is awesome. I really like Mayhem Devil. 
Um, I think Mayhem Devil's really powerful, especially inside of the uh, with the Witch's Oven and Cauldron Familiars. I really do like this deck a lot. I like Corvold. I like the Wolves. I like Vraska's. I feel like all the cards in this deck are really powerful. Honestly, the only card I really don't like in the deck is copies 2, 3, and 4 of Once Upon a Time. Like, I mean, obviously we want to draw the first one for it to be free, but beyond that, the card feels awful. Like, it just doesn't feel that good. Um, we have a lot of blank creatures. It's nice hitting lands. I mean, the card's powerful, but in standard, it's just not as powerful. Obviously, the first copy is insane, but beyond that, I don't know. I just don't think it's that great. Anyway, uh, the sideboard-wise, it's very clearly targeted towards beating blue decks with Veils, Negates, uh, the Grasps for the Sultai base decks and such. Um, Flame Sweep feels like a weird choice, but I guess you might struggle with like Knights and aggressive decks like that. I don't know. Anyway... Um, I do like the deck. It's fun. Corvold seems like a sweet card. Also, as someone who played a lot of different card games growing up, I love the idea of like a big quote unquote boss monster for your deck or your archetype. I love it. I think Corvold is sweet. Um, yeah. Obviously, the like main card in the deck is Oko and Mayhem Devil. They're the two that really like make the deck really get out there. Um, but Corvold's Super sweet. I really like it. I wish we got a chance to go off with it in the videos. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I know Standard's not very popular. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy what Standard I do put out. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will catch you guys next time.